Hello, and welcome to the latest update on the 67 Porsche 911-912 wiring harness. Um, been working a lot on the harness, but it's been mainly after work and uh, doing some yard work. So we're not really doing a video here because what I've been doing is some real tedious work and it's not real exciting video. So I thought I'd show some pictures from uh, an event I went to, the IMSA race at Monterey a couple years ago and uh, get an idea of what they look like on track. So, but to start talking about the harness, um, I ended up building a harness table so that I can lay it out and, and control the, the wire, how it goes to all the individual components. And here you're starting to see some of the pictures from that. Just some of the ways I've tacked it down on the table um, makes it a lot easier to stretch it to make sure that you've got the right length to, to be able to match it up to the other harness. Uh, and these uh, things right here, they help you stretch out the harness on the table. Um, I don't really know what they're called, but they do a good job of that. Just hook over the edge of the table and you can stretch the harness into them. There's the new fuse panel. Uh, it's just laid over top of the old one. I've got a, a little riser that I built into the table so that the wires can be fed up under it. There's some of them that go under it. So now to talk a little bit about some interesting stuff that I found while working on these cars or on these harnesses. Um, you know, the 911s and 912s are the basically exact same car except for the engine, but uh, they were made at two separate locations. Some of them were made at the Stuttgart Zuvenhausen factory, and then some of them were um, made at the Carmen factory. So there's, there's been rumors over the years of differences between the cars, but, um, you know, Carmen's are supposed to have thinner gauge metal. There's never been any foundation to those rumors, but I will tell you there are differences between the harnesses. Um, so in no particular order, here are some of the differences. On the Zuffenhausen car, you have a single rear ground and the Carmen's have a two wire ground. So basically here's a picture of the single wire ground. And then here's a picture of the two wire ground. Ultimately the circuits achieve the same means, uh, which is basically grounding the rear lights and the oil level sending unit but they do have some differences there. So it's just a little different way that the wires are routed through the lights and then end up at the ground. Uh, if you have any interest in that, just ask and I can go into details. I actually have drawn it out. Um, so and then there's another difference on the light relay. So the Zuffenhausen cars have uh, a two wire that go to the relay. Here's a picture of it. It's a, it's a two wire white with a green tracer that connects to the relays, so it's number 43 on a five gauge wiring diagram. Uh, on the Carmen harness, there's only one wire. The Zuffenhausen wire or harness runs two wires. One goes from the relay to the speedometer for the light indicator lamp that's on the speedometer, and then one goes into the junction connector that goes into the cabin for the light switch. The Carmen harness, however, runs one wire. Here's a picture of it and then uses a split, a, a, a butt connector, whatever you want to call it, inside the main trunk of the harness near the fuse panel. It's buried deep in there and you'd never see it, but it basically takes that one wire from the relay and then splits it and serves the same purpose as the other car, but it's a difference. So, and then last but not least, um, and I thought this was the most interesting one, is how they look. Um, when I first started taking apart the Zuffenhausen wiring harness, it was wrapped in tape. And I thought, you know, that's the way they did them. That's the way most harnesses are done. And, but then when I took the Carmen harness out, it was sheathed and it had very little tape on it. It had tape in certain areas, but uh, it was mainly sheathed. And here's some pictures of how they did some of the sheathing. So. I've done some research, asked on the forums of folks uh, to go out and look at their cars, and it does seem that that is pretty consistent, so that the Carmen cars are sheathed, um, and then they have the differences in the harnesses. Um, so if you see anything different, please let me know. I, I'm, I'm geeky like this, and I like this kind of research. Every time I'm going to go to a car show now, I'm going to check that out ask what year the car is and uh, does it have a two wire ground in the back is it sheathed and where was it made so those are the three questions what factory was it made at does it have a two ground wire in the back it's over there on the the driver's side when you open the, the engine lid it's on the left and then um is it sheathed or is it wrapped and you can look up underneath where the the lid connects to the 
uh, slam panel, whatever you want to call it, where you should be able to see the harness going underneath there from the passenger light over to the driver's lights. So, um, yeah, just a little geeky stuff. So getting really close on this thing should, should uh, have some better pictures and some actual video in the next video. Um, we'll be sheathing it soon. And uh, then the installation of the car will begin, which I will document that very closely. So thanks for watching and hit that like button if you liked it. And be sure to subscribe to get the next video. Thanks again. See ya.